Ten foot heavy still. I went Pro Rex, the Mag Dog. This thing caught a bunch of fish for the last few days. Got one. Fifty two incher on the tube. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We are at the famous Bob and Liz cabin. You guys can see we're in the tackle room. Bob, what you fit? What are you working on? We're gonna we're gonna tube with a trailer hook. We might show you guys that a little bit later on. Possibly a little sneaky stuff. Bob loves his tubes. But we're on woods. It's fall. Liz is getting the rest of her stuff in the boat. It's cold this morning. It's been cold. This is the last day of our cold front. It's about one o'clock. Not as cold as yesterday, but just got above freeze and we're gonna get out here, fish till dark, see what happens. One more cast. I didn't see like any life there. I saw two walleyes. Fish? Big walk or something? Hey, a pike. A little musky. <laughs> you kind of like Jess. I'm snagged. No, I just didn't. It's not fighting. No, he's not. He's cold. This, like this cold front, he doesn't like it. Oh, now he now he knows something's wrong. <laughs> Good. Oh, fat little thing. All right, at the very end of the spot. That was the last cast, wasn't it? Yeah. Bob's signature twisted tube. Nice work, buddy. Thank you. Buddy. All right, Mr. Bob. Thank you. Didn't know exactly what he had going on, but it just happened to be a musky. He like wasn't fighting. No, I just. He's just coming in. in like this. You think he's kind of cold, but. Um, I'll show you guys fish here. Not a very big one, but there is something cool that Bob does. <clears throat> Here's our little guy, yeah. fat Lake of the Woods muskie. He'll be big someday. Just let him go. <clears throat> but the cool thing, and for you guys in the membership program, we'll show you this. I'll take you back to Bob's shop here at the end. And I'm gonna have Bob show you how he rigs up those twisted tubes and he actually adds a little something to them that actually a lot higher hooking percentage. You've caught a lot more fish because of it. Oh yeah, probably 30% more with it. So it's something cool. It's not factory, it's not standard. It's something Bob does in his little, I shouldn't say little, amazing tackle shop. <laughs> but uh, I'll show you guys that to the memberships before. If you guys don't know what the membership is, basically we're going forward here and doing a paid membership um, for exclusive content. This is going to be for specific people that uh, sign up for a membership program. It's $7.99 a month. Basically, you're going to get an inside look at everything that we're doing, the behind the scenes stuff, the little stuff like Bob did with this tube. That's going to help you guys catch more muskies. And it's not just for myself, it's from guys like Bob, other muskie anglers across the country. Um, we're going to be doing weekly uploads. If not, our goal is really five uploads a month. So that's more than one a week. So if you guys want to see that stuff, click below. You can see the join right below at the bottom of the video. Click on that, sign up, and we'll get you guys into all this exclusive content that's there specifically for our memberships. All right, guys, we're going to have Jeff show you how to sign up for the YouTube membership. It's a little funky with Apple products, and Android is actually super easy. Hey, guys, Jess here. I'm going to show you a simple, easy way to sign up for the membership program. So if you're an Android user and you go to the app, underneath the cover photo here, you'll see the button join. You can just click that. Or if you're Watching a video, the join button will show up right underneath the video. But if you are not an Android user and you have an Apple phone like I do, there's a little bit of a trick to do it. So I'll show you a simple way how to get in there. So you're going to want to go to Safari or Google Chrome, whatever you use. Click on that. You're going to type in YouTube.com. Once you get to YouTube.com, you're going to want to sign into your account. If you don't have an account, you can set one up and it takes like two minutes to do. So I'm going to log in here, use my credentials. So now I'm in here, but the 
the join button doesn't show up on Apple right away. So you're going to want to click this little A and this big A down here in the URL. You're going to hit request desktop website. Click that. That's all you have to do. Now you search Doug Wagner Fishing. Click on the channel. Once you get to the channel, now you're going to see the join button. And all you do is click join. It's going to show you the membership here. And then you can type in all your information, all your payment information, and you'll be able to watch us catch muskies. All right, guys, let's break down the membership pricing a little bit. We're at $7.99 a month. We're going to be doing a minimum of five uploads per month or more. And this is going to bring you to about a dollar, a little over a dollar a video. Muskie fishing as a whole is very expensive and it's a huge investment. And I want to help you guys get the most out of your investment by showing you small tips, tricks, and things that are going to help you guys get the most out of your equipment. Electronics, I think, are something that are obviously a massive investment and super expensive that we put on all of our boats. But I don't think a lot of people are using them to their you know, capabilities or highest advantage. And I want to show you guys how to do that in this channel, as well as with the help of some other really great anglers. We're also gonna be going through a lot of bait modifications. This could be things on how to get a higher hooking percentage. This could be how to save your lures, how to repair them, how to save you guys money so you don't have to go out and buy multiple baits or a replacement bait. We can show you here how to save those lures, get a couple more fish out of them, and keep your lucky bait catching more fish. This opportunity is gonna allow me to spend less time guiding individuals and more time to be able to create content to educate all of you guys to your highest potential. I'll show you an eagle. The rig and how to rig them. Fish. Much better fish than all that. Nice. Woo! Right in the green stuff. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right, we got a fish on Red October. This is kind of cool because I don't know how many hours I spent making tube rigs in preparation for this whole trip. Tubes are a super good bait in the fall, but um, just I spent, I don't know, 10 hours probably rigging tubes. And it's kind of a spin off of what's there. I don't really love the harness that they come with so i make my own um, again our memberships you guys will be able to see that if you sign up i'll show you guys that otherwise we're gonna show you guys this fish here fat 40 inch or something like that but cool spot okay. that is the first casting fish i've caught since august it's been a long month and a half of trolling on green bay up in Canada, catching fatties. Cool fish. Mm -hmm. You spent all your energy getting her rolling. 46.6 degree water, it'll be a quick release. And let's get back to it. So well, I'm working this too, this is a 12 inch Red October. He's coming. Oh, he's still there. That was cool. That thing was freaking hot. 40. Yeah, that thing was freaking. Mid 40? There's one. Fucker. Swiped at it twice. Swiped at it twice? Yeah. I mean, I even mix it. So Jess is having the majority of the action. 
and Bob thinks she's got a pretty unique way to rip her suix. I think she works in pretty damn good. Jess, what are you doing? I don't know. You guys making me sound better than I am. I just, I, I'm pretty... There the fatty, freaking smoked it. Woo! I literally <clears throat> just had a full cast. Yeah. Freaking choke this thing head first. I gotta get this out quick. Freaking choked it head first like they eat tubes. Kind of frazzled that one, choked it. Um, but I had all my tools here ready. We've got the double jaw spreaders electrical taped together. So there's actually two of them in here, but it helps because these smaller ones, you know, a single one of these, the bigger fish can actually close them down. So these ones I put two right next to each other, wrap electrical tape around them. And it gives you twice the strength of opening them. The other thing, I don't like to use these, but sometimes you have to. This is a bogo grip. This is actually it doubles as a scale. Um, I use my cradle. But anyways, sometimes you got to get those fish up and get their mouth pinned open. And if you put this in there, latch onto their lip and kind of pin them to the side of the boat, it'll open up their mouth. But you never want to lift them all the way out because then you're hanging them vertical. But just enough to where I could get in there, get the fish's mouth pried open, and I could get my tools in there. Nipix. Cannot have enough of these things. Always carry two of them in the boat. Had to cut that because it was way down in there deep. And then to grab it, super long, basically a pliers. I really like these ones, gives you a lot of leverage. You can actually hold onto the hook, twist, pull, pop. But then you guys saw I had my box of tools right here in the back, on top, ready to go. Always organized. You gotta take care of these fish. You always wanna have your tools handy. So that was kind of hectic, but we're good. The fish is good, doing good. Not a super big one, but a fat one that wanted to, uh, was hungry, that's for sure. Put that stuff away later. Another one on the tube on the special rig. I'll show you guys that later tonight for the memberships. And I'll show you the fish quick. Not a big one, but fatty. There we go. This little fat chunker. Sunset fish. Doing good. Not bad guys for getting out at the crack of one. No shit. <laughs> this morning was super cold. So we waited for it to warm up and now it's in the 30s, but no wind. This morning was what, 19 or 18? Yeah. Super cold. But the next two weeks here in the forecast is like 40 degrees, beautiful weather. Maybe a couple nights below freezing, but great for fishing.
Long Ranger. No, long, long Ranger is too wimpy. Big dog. Yeah, probably that's what it is. Or a sling blade. No, the, so the... Um, it's an eight and a half heavy and it's what I used to use for uh, yeah. That's a sling blade. Sling blade. That's what that one is. Got it! Oh, he frickin' smoked it. Not going anywhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He frickin' thumped it. Yeah, it's below freezing now. Wow. Need that aqua traction. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, straight ice back here. It's yeah. below 32 now. All right, that one, next spot after I just caught the one. This thing after you cloned it up. The bite you dream of. The tick. And then the boom. Super fat one, not that big getting cold out <laughs> just in case back here's getting a little slippery I'm gonna get this girl back another two yeah. all right let's see if we can stick out one more on this point and call her a day all right, guys, Bob is going to take us inside his little workbench here and show us the twisted tube modification. This is really cool. This is something that I would do, but uh, Bob beat me to it. He absolutely loves these twisted tubes. Fish is a ton of them, but this little modification doesn't like you guys heard him say. He believes he catches 30 more, 30% 30 more fish that bite due to this mod. And we're going to see what he's all got cooking in here. Let me show you guys how he makes it. I just love that I'm not the only one that has a messy workbench. Oh, it's a disaster. <laughs> I think Wiz gets in here and messes with it. I would never leave it like this. 